Hi guys, welcome to Mountains to Sea Overland. Today I am beginning a series with a video that people have been asking for from me for a while, and that is a walk around of this fine forerunner that you see behind me. Thanks for watching. I have actually started making this video several times, but one of the things that I've realized over the years is that there's so much going on with this truck, and especially so much is changing over time, it's been hard to pin down what should be covered and when. So today I'm going to start by just running through the basics. Behind me you see a 2001 Toyota 4Runner. Under the hood is the 3.4 liter V6, that's the 5VZ FE. Right now this truck has four wheel drive as well as all wheel drive thanks to the Toyota locking center differential. There are also some modifications that I made to some of the fundamentals of the truck. The first is an external transmission cooler and this was to avoid the fearsome strawberry milkshake. If you have the 3.4 liter 4Runner or a Tacoma, then you need to be familiar with this if you have the automatic transmission. Another modification that I made was I put in the Tundra front brakes. This is the 231 millimeter 13WL OEM version of those discs. Just to provide better stopping power, particularly if I'm towing or if I'm on the trail. I do not currently have a lift, either front or rear, for this Toyota, but you'll notice the, the back is riding a little higher, and that's thanks to airbags that I installed inside the coil on the back. Um, those are the Firestone Ride Right airbags, and they are adjustable. They're airlines running from the coils to the rear bumper, and I'm able to use just a bike pump and add a little bit of pressure if the it's loaded up in the back or take pressure out when there's no load. So that's been really helpful especially if I'm towing or if I'm fully loaded so that the back doesn't have that sag that you sometimes see in forerunners that have the older springs. In the future I'm going to cover each of the systems on this truck with a lot more detail but I'll just give you a quick overview now. So under the hood I have a secondary battery system and that is wired throughout the truck with several different fuse boxes and a number of different plugs and outlets and stuff like that so that I can run some of the accessories that I need when I'm camping. And that's how this truck is built up. It's really built out for camping, for overlanding, for long-term travel and off-the-grid stuff. Running that secondary battery is a new alternator. I did upgrade to the 160 amp alternator in order to support the extra depth of that deep cycle battery. Quick rundown of the rest of the truck. We do have the BFG KO2 tires that give us great capability on the trails. I've got some protection there with Van Welder rock sliders. On top is the Baja rack steel full-length platform and that gives me a great place to mount whatever I need up there. Most of the time I've had a rooftop tent up there, but as you know if you follow the channel I have an off-road trailer that I've been building and that tent is now on the trailer so I've stuck my spare up there for now. You'll probably see that tent or another tent 
back on the truck in time. Finally, in the rear of the vehicle is a drawer system that has been just awesome for camping. It's a full kitchen built out back there. It allows me to keep a bunch of camping gear there. And when we want to go on a trip, 90% of our stuff is already packed and it's ready to go. Over the next couple of weeks and months, I will be going into a little bit more detail about the secondary battery system. You can see some of the wiring. If you're interested in that, you can see how I did mine. I'll go into de more detail about the rack and what I have up there with the Pelican case and such. I'll also show you in detail the kitchen, my full kitchen setup. I have a full length sleeping platform that I can install. You might have seen that if you were following the Wyoming trip this past fall. And I also have some stuff in the cab. Um, got some communications and navigation stuff up there. So I'll go into more detail about those systems later. I really appreciate you following now and I hope you enjoy. Subscribe to see more and to check out future adventures that we take this beast on.